Hello everyone and welcome to episode 117 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. Before I get into today's questions, I want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode of ASA. I gained a couple new subscribers and it reached over 300 views, which is just amazing to me. I greatly appreciate all the support and everything. You guys are amazing. Now let's get into the question starting with Crimson Toaster. ASA, why do you like potatoes and then three potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. I mean, the simple answer is because potatoes are cool. I honestly just kind of decided one day, I was like, I want something that I'm kind of known for and that people expect from me, kind of like a catchphrase or a thing that they just expect of me. And I was like, I'll pick a random sentence, a random thing that I say I like. And I thought of potatoes and I was like, hey, that works. I like potatoes. Potatoes are cool. And now I'm kind of just known as the potato guy and I, I like it. I think it's funny. Potato smell like flowers. Next question is from Plorpes ASA. What's your favorite Spongebob quote? Man, that is a very tough question because it's kind of like asking a parent, who's your favorite kid? I don't actually know if I have a favorite quote, but I have a couple that I would kind of like mash together and say those are all my favorite collectively. And so here's a couple. Ow! I burn my hand! At night. Mr. Krabs, hello. Do you how do? Weenie Hot Juniors! Good grief, he's naked! Those guys are dorks. Yes, but they're my dorks. I just love SpongeBob and I always will. Next question is from B Brick Abel ASA. Where are you from? I like your accent. Potato, thank you for the potato and the compliment. I am from the United States of America. Does that answer the question? I'm not going to say what state I live in. I think that kind of sums it up, right? I don't know. I'm from the Death Star. Next question is from Crimson Toaster ASA. What is your opinion on that brick collection guy? And then a couple potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes, my guy. I mean, he's pretty cool. He's pretty chill. He makes some fun videos occasionally, and for some reason, he's let me join some of his streams before. Oh, he means last summer. Yeah, that was pretty fun. He used to troll last summer game. was hot. 12 seconds later. Hotter than Harrison Dula. Oh my god, no. Not bring. Don't bring back the Harrison Dula thing. That's nuts, <laughs> bro. Of all the characters in Star Wars. One thing I think is kind of odd about him, and I honestly think he might need therapy over it, is he calls this an at-at. That's disgusting. It's clearly an A-T-A-T. -A -T. But no, it's too hard. You gotta say at-at. At first I thought, oh, he's just doing it to mess with me because he's a bit of a button pusher, right? Like, aren't we all? The other day I was in a conversation with him, and he's like, no, I just like to call it that because I think that sounds better. So he needs help. He needs therapy. I know he's gonna argue me, but it's... AT -AT. There are jaguars and snakes and quicksand. I'm not listening. I'm not kidding. Listen, you cannot go in there. Still not listening. Next question is from Brick Collection One. What's your opinion on that crimson toasty guy? And then three potatoes. First off, I want to mention or point out that Crimson gave me more potatoes than you, so he's got that going for him. But he hasn't given me any toast yet for being a toaster, so that's kind of bad. Like, where's my toast? Other than that, I think he's a pretty cool, pretty chill dude. He has some fun videos as well. You guys should totally check out both these people's channels. I'll leave their links in the description. I, you should totally go check out their channels and give them a sub if you haven't. But I still, I want my toast. Give it to me now. Next question is from Ace Gamer Studios ASA. It's been a minute since I've left a question, but what Star Wars movie would you like to see get made? I think that they need to bring back the Star Wars story movies. There's a lot of characters and possibly like subjects and stories and all that that they should do more Star Wars story movies based on. One idea I've always had and just kind of thought would be cool is an Imperial Academy. Here's the thing, right? In Star Wars, there there's the Empire, and then there's the Rebellion who rebel against the Empire. But why do Stormtroopers believe they're the good guys? Why do Stormtroopers fight for the Empire? Clearly, they think they're doing what's right. That's what I would love to see, is basically a movie on the reason why Stormtroopers fight for the Empire and how they become stormtroopers. And I think that would be a really cool movie. Even if that doesn't happen, I just want Star Wars story movies to come back. Those were cool. I loved Rogue One. And Solo was good too. Dad, how do I get in? 
Next question is from Mayo Husko. Glad you kept the series. Thank you, man. ASA, what's your thoughts on the Dave Filoni controversy by Star Wars fans? One thing I've learned in life is, and I think this goes for really anything, is you can't make everybody happy. There's always going to be someone that's not happy because they're going to think it should have went a different way. And because Star Wars has such a huge following, there's always going to be people that like and dislike anything and everything. Therefore, I kind of don't care what they have to say because I've just learned that Star Wars fans are always not happy with something, but then there's a group of people that are happy with things, you know? I would argue I'm in the camp right now where it's like, no, I'm happy with how things are going. I think Dave Filoni is great, personally. Like, he gave us the Clone Wars, so, like, that makes him amazing just as it is, right? Yep. And the last question is from Crimson Toasted. ASA, when did you start YouTube and why did you decide to start? And then a couple potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. My very first ever episode was uploaded on, I believe it was November 9th of 2018. But it was basically just a speed build of me building a couple LEGO Star Wars brick heads. But I've been doing YouTube for quite a while now. Of course, I like doing ASA and short reviews. That's pretty much all I do now. But back then I used to do like reviews and I had a couple like drop tests and I used to do a thing called mocks with music that was always fun I enjoyed doing that the reason why I started YouTube was really just because I thought like hey that looks like fun personally I would say I'm probably not very good at YouTube but I enjoy it I think it's fun and I'm glad I decided to start <laughs> That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. Maybe leave a like. If you would like to be the fifth view on my Boarding the Tent in 4 short, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't know why YouTube decided that that video was going to do horrible. I don't know if I did something wrong, but if you want to check it out, it's available in the cards. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!